this Mesa Troll 640T. Wow. You see? Uh, we have uh, an alarm, 25 main power supply malfunction, code 71. This number refers to the spindle number. This machine has uh, only one spindle. And this code, if you look for the manual, is telling that you have a problem with the input voltage on the power supply. This machine is three times 20, uh, 220 volts to phase. So, and then the emergency stop is because you have the alarm 25. So, if you have any doubt, let's say you don't think that is the power supply, the spin the power supply, and you might want to check another or make a, another test before you change or replace the power supply. What you can do is to disable the spindle drive. And let me show you what I mean by that. As you see here, this is the communication board. And then you have a, ca a cable that runs to the drive, and it's been the servo drive module. This is a double uh, servo drive module. You can handle the X and Z with just one module. This is the power supply for those for that module. And from here, original, you have another cable that goes to the spindle drive. And then the terminator that you have right now here was placed on this connector. Let me open the door. Okay. Was placed on the CM1B connector. That's the original configuration. But in the case, you are gonna be able to disable the computer. Uh, spin the drive, including the power supply that we already removed. So, once you do that, if you don't have any other alarm, you're gonna be sure that the problem is on the on the power supply. We removed and we are trying to get a spare or repair the, the power supply we removed. But let me show you that by doing this, we are not only able to define where the problem or the root cause was, but also we can keep the machine running just in, in the axis X and Z. I already power cycle the machine, send the axis to home, and now I'm gonna run a Volvar test program. Let me cycle start. Okay, there you go and the machine is running. I cannot for sure move the spindle, but let me show you on the diagnosis screen that we don't have the spindle drive configured. Let's go to version, spindle monitor, and as you see, we don't have any, we just have one spindle, spindle one, on this machine. Uh, and if I page down, you are not gonna see the drive module type, uh, not either the history on the drive. We only see the power supply that uh, we just saw on the, uh, the previous part, but this is the missing power supply that is configured as a chip. So, with this uh, option, as you see, we don't have alarms. You can only see the history and let's see the PLC signals. And as you see, don't even recognize that it is a spindle alarm. That's okay because we disabled the, the spindle alarm. I hope this helps you to troubleshoot the spindle or separate. Sometimes you, you can believe or 
think that the problem is on the communication board, but it's, in this case it is so, okay? And here we have the version, and as you see, we are missing the 